Hey everyone! So if you're tuning into this video, you probably have um, one of three problems. Either you see um, three blink blinking lights on your Goodman heater, you know that your pressure sensor is bad, or your Goodman heater is not working. So we are in the same predicament. Fortunately, it is freezing in our house and I have a solution. So I'm going to give you guys two different options on how you can, one, temporarily fix this, and two, fix this permanently. So we're going to dig deep into this, show you what you guys are going to do. It's going to be really quick. Uh, probably just take you two, three minutes. That's all the time I want to take for you guys today. So here we go. All right, guys. So most importantly, make sure your switch is off. So your uh, furnace is turned off. It's not getting electricity. So we're going to be touching some electrical components. So just make sure um, whether it is at your breaker or it is at a, a switch, uh, make sure the electricity is turned off. All right, so now we're going to take our furnace cover off. <clears throat> okay, now as you guys can see in here, these are um, some of the main electrical components that we're going to be dealing with today. The actual pressure sensor switch is up top here. So let me set this up and we're going to take this bad boy off. Okay, now this electrical part, it's held on by um, a few different areas. So you have the screw up top, and we'll just loosen up here. Okay. Now you also have this tube that connects here and there. So we're gonna unscrew it from here. This is easier to take off with, uh, with a set of pliers. And what we're going to do here is set, a, set a, aside um, our different connectors here so we know how they go back on. Okay, so our one in the front goes to the bottom and that's facing that is facing up. So if you don't have the part, and like I, I had pre-ordered mine on the Amazon, so if you don't have the additional part, um, what you can do is what is what what is most likely the problem is the switch inside here is stuck. And to give you a little background, the pressure sensor swi switch is a built-in feature um, designed to monitor the negative pressure created by the inducer motor, which is in here. So it's it's not receiving pressure, or this door is locked. Uh, when I talked to one of my um, the friends in the industry, they had mentioned that when it gets cold enough, there can get there can be a buildup of moisture either inside the tube or inside um, the pressure sensor switch that can actually cause the uh, um, the switch to block up. So it is possible that it's either bad due to this um, or just, just something is jammed in the middle. So what, what we've done in the past is if you blow inside, if you can hear that over the screaming children in the background, you can actually hear the switch opening and closing. So um, if you're in a bind and you need to get the, the heater back running so you can run to the store and pick one of these up or run to Amazon to pick one up, I would, I would highly recommend doing that because um, this is not a permanent fix. This might get you another day's worth of it going in and out, um, but it is, like I said, not the permanent fix. So I'm going to take, take our new part and I'm going to hook up our bottom connection. And our top connection, and I'm going to hook these pipes back up. So I'll hook it up back here, reconnect it here, and my screw is up top.
All right, well, we should be good to go. So I'll flip the switch back on. All right. I hit that switch back on and we are good. We are not blinking. So guys, I hope this helped. Um, I am not a HVAC um, technician. I am a computer tech. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer the best I can. Um, but this is how we've got it fixed. Um, like I said, this blower motor or this uh, pressure sensor switch. Sometimes if you blow in there and suck, you can get that get that open. Like I said, it might get you a minute or two, or uh, like a day or two worth of the heater working, but it'll heat up your home, it'll keep everyone safe and sound. Um, but definitely, if it's if it's going out because of the pressure sensor switch and your, uh, your furnace is blinking three times, definitely get this thing replaced or have a uh, technician come out and see. So thanks for watching, have a great day.